Bolton News Sky Blues boss Chris Coleman will take up his place in the home dugouts here at the Rico Arena for the first time on Saturday. And what a place to start them with a local derby clash against Leicester. Coleman took his second training session in charge of the Sky Blues this morning and afterwards we caught up with him to find out how he's finding life in the city hot seat. Chris, has it been nice to get back on the training field? Yeah, it's really good. Um, I'm pleasantly surprised really with uh, the sport of players and their attitude. Um, enthusiasm was incredible to be fair considering the position we're in and they've had a bit of a bad run but their heads are not down you know they're playing with a bit of confidence and we're going to need that on Saturday but the games are different to training and it's good that they train like like you know the last two days they train great we've got to take that into Saturday's game because that's where we earn our money one thing that you always get a sense from these players is that the team spirit here is, is excellent and that's important isn't it well I can't imagine what it'd be like if we would if we'd won seven out of nine I really, I really couldn't. Uh, we've just got to turn that, make sure they go onto the pitch without springing the step. Forget about the last 10 games. You know, that's history. That can't help us now. We can only go forward as a team, as a group, group of people. Uh, and I'm confident we can, you know. I don't know what's going to happen Saturday. No one knows. It's, we know it will be a tough game. We know it will be a big one for the fans. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, if the players give us what they've given us in two days in training, in terms of their enthusiasm, effort, and they've made it nice and nice and easy for us to settle in. Um, you know, I can't ask for no more than that. You stressed on Tuesday about how important it is to, to take one game at a time. You know, just just how much it, does it mean to not look further than Saturday? We can't do. We, we can't afford to. You know, we can't afford to look, to look ne further than the next game. The mind next season. We've got to concentrate on the next game, the job in hand. And once this game's over, the next, the most important game of the season will be the next game. And that's the way we'll have to look at it. I've always been a great believer in the most important game is the next one. Uh, and, you know, you shouldn't look further than that, really. Of course, there's a long-term plan that's going to be put in place. But we've got to deal with the, the problems we have at the minute. And uh, we have to de deal with that all together. It's pointless me coming in uh, along with Steve and saying, well, you know, it's not, not really our problem because it's not our team. Or, it is our team now. We're in charge of the team. We're responsible for the team. Uh, so the team's problems are our problems. Um, and that's the way we have to look at it. What a place to start at home against the closest rivals. Yep. What uh, what better place to start? It's going to be a great atmosphere. Um, we know that. If we can get anywhere near the crowd we had last week against West Brom, it'll be fantastic. And I think the, the fans need to, to see the players playing with a bit of confidence. That's what they want to see the players playing with a little bit of flair, a bit of confidence. Obviously, you have to work hard. That goes without saying, you know. Otherwise, you don't win. But I think they want to see a little bit of flair if they can. Maybe less will come and stop us from doing that. Um, we have to match them. Uh, but we've got good players in the squad. We can pass the ball. Uh, we have to exercise them. What kind of game do you expect from them? Tough one, you know. They're down there as well. They need the points. If we win, we jump above them. Or if they win, you know, it creates a little bit of a gap between them and the bottom three. So it's a tough game, you know. It really is a, a, a tough game. And it's not going to be easy. I don't see anybody running out um, easy winners. I think it'll be a tough fourth game. Uh, but I'm looking forward to it. Have you got a sense from the players that they're, they're all out to try and impress you? I, yeah, I think um, speaking with the staff who've already been there, they say they train. You know, they've always trained well, trained well, and they've never lost a team spirit. And uh, that's what I was worried about when I joined. Maybe you know, I've I've been at clubs before as a player and a coach, and the things are going against you. The team spirit's affected, and you judge people when you judge people when things are going wrong or things have been going wrong. You don't judge people who teams for it when you're at the top of the league. You judge it when you're at the other end, and you see who's ready to step forward and take up the take up the charge and take up the fight, and who starts stepping backwards. Um, and you, you pretty much suss them out early doors. And, I, and I'm not being disappointed with what I've seen. Will it Saturday give you a chance to see where you need to strengthen? Yeah, I think you know we've got from now until the end of the season we can bring in some loan deals um, if we need to. Uh, but we've got now until the end of the season to assess it, and that's the main thing. We're, Apart from the training ground, that we need to we need to do a few things with the training ground. The stadium's fantastic. We need to do anything with the stadium. Superb. It's all waiting there for us to build a team that's good enough to be up the other end of the league and try and get into the Premier League. Um, in many ways, that's the hardest part. But that's what we need to do. But like I said, that's that's further down the line. Let's look at Leicester City.